oh, congratulations to all Muslims once again. And uh, we all share in the uh, celebration. I'm told that uh, images coming in from the Ashanti region is that a group of Christians have joined the Muslims in marking today. Very, very commendable act. We have in studio Sheikh Ayub of Fusuhine Asari. He is the national president, the Association of Muslim Preachers, mm. and also Society. the national uh, society and also the national coordinator for coalition of Muslim organizations in Ghana. He is here to help us understand and put into perspective some of the issues regarding the celebration of the festival, which is Eid al Fitr. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> Good afternoon. Yes, and Good happy Eid to uh, you. Uh, yeah, the same. We pray everybody will enjoy this Eid as yeah. God has granted us. Amen. Uh, we thank God that blessings will bless the whole nation. Amen. 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 All right. To start with, um, there are those who are who have asked the relevance and the essence of the fasting for one month yeah. and um, why uh, every devout Muslim should undertake that exercise. Why, wh what is the reason behind it, if you can help us? Every time go for that and uh, you know the Holy Quran was revealed man, the month of Ramadan. As believers we know that uh, even the prophet teaches us and he told us that this is the month for the believer. And in this month if you are able to go through uh, the fasting season, uh, we are very sure that you are so blessed because the Holy Quran was revealed in this month, mm. the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. And uh, here, uh, be, be, be in between one, uh, one night of the, the last 10 days, though the Prophet knew it, but uh, he took it upon himself not to tell us exactly when that happened. Okay. Some say 27, he said, in the odd, one of the odd nights, that is 21st, 23rd, 25th, 27th, or 29th. And all the angels in heaven came down. Mm. On the Quran chapter uh, 97, he said, We uh, in a little uh, qadar. He said, We reveal it in the night of power, night of mm. night of decision. It is an ultimate time. God, all the angels in heaven, if I'm to read that, but because you want our yeah, uh, yeah. listener to know much about it, he said, All the angels in heaven descended on that day, that day. and the Holy Spirit was came on Mount Hera, they met the prophet there, and he was blessed with the Holy Quran. Okay. He said, and God even asked, said, what to uh, convey unto you, or what to tell you, what the night of power is. He said, that night of power, that night alone, is better for doing God's word than a thousand months, yeah. over 83 good years. Ah, so me in my, my explanation, I've been exaggerated, and I tried to say, and I believe that is it. God mm. did not tell us, uh, he didn't say they are equal. He said it's better than that. Okay. So, so even okay. if it is two thousand months, that it is nobody knows. God not tell us. But at least said, it's better than, better than all that. of those and, months. And uh, if you go to the, uh, the history, Islam teaches us that Samson, the prophet of Israel, Israel ever fought, and we sample miss. Uh, unfortunately, mispresent that is jihad. He was on the course of defending the Israelite pool of God. As at that time, so his time to, to defend uh, believers they're vulnerable not a uh, not a terrorist no okay. not a, somebody who want to save a situation and those At were the particular the, time. the true muslim agent the the, the girl time mm. so uh, that is uh, an ask something dead and the prophet told them that there was something of the sort uh, for he did that for over 80 some uh, uh, 80 something years and the disciples are so wow how can we end that because in our days we die we die early and mm. uh, then god god revealed that to him that uh, what that night that the angels descended and the quran was revealed that is quran 95 god uh, an angel asked gabriel as the prophet to read because the Prophet was illiterate. He, he couldn't read anything, and he told him, "I'm, I'm, I'm not a scholar. I've, I've never read anything." So, and he repeated. The angel embraced him. He said, "No, read, Muhammad." And he said, "I have never tried." After the third one, he said, "Read the name of your Lord, who created man from a cloth, from uh, from the sperm of a man that mm. entered into the womb, and was able to make him man by that power." You read, and Muhammad started reading. Well, and, uh, let's, <laughs> let's 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 bring this other issue that has come up for discussion in the last few days. Okay, the sighting of the, the moon. moon. Yeah. We are told that this time around, some people say it was cited, some said it wasn't, and they, they seem not to be agreement. a concrete agreement okay. on it. That's right. Why should the sighting of the moon decide any of this? And what does the sighting of the moon play? What role does it play? Yeah, it is, uh, and as you know, in the olden days, you have to see the moon. And we must use uh, the moon as our calendar. When you see it, it appears fine. 
and if you, I, I, I have a problem with that Muslim we should we pray that we understand them and uh, and follow authority that is my prayer mm. uh, it is also humility and it shows how we fear God but sometimes there will be a couple of argument here and there but what the prophet told us exactly like he, he told us that when you see uh, the Christian you see there that is the month of Ramadan you see it and finish then you have to understand that you start fasting okay but, but should there be cloud and uh, uh, darkness you cannot see it clearly he said you count the month before right you count it that is uh, 30 days in Islamic calendar the days are 29 or 30 okay right? that is it okay it doesn't uh, go, go beyond beyond that so here he said when you see it, if you don't see it so you expect the night uh, the, the, the moon you watch you look for it on uh, that is 29th of each by uh, that man if you don't see it then you count the 30 count. days as soon as you finish then you don't need to look, look for, for anything okay. you have to okay. take up right? so so and, for those who cannot see it yeah but you saw it before you started the fast. Exactly. You should just count 30 maximum days. 30 that days. That is what we did. That, is, that is because okay. we are not a Muslim country here. We are here, we are praying, we are Christian, okay. we have others. Okay. So the, uh, in, the, in the wisdom of the leaders, that like the chief man mm. in his authority that we have, uh, God have given him, mm. here they, they, they calculated because they have to give that information to the ministry or the okay. government okay. before that they come. So to avoid any inconveniences, okay. Okay. then they will tell you that the, after the 30th day, then that is it. So okay. if somebody say no, we don't understand that. And I, w I want to address this carefully because I've been doing this for a long period. We, 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 for, for lack of time, we would want to just move to the role Muslim youth play, especially now that we are in uh, an election year. People always seem to target them yeah. as the <laughs> most rioters, the troublemakers. What would the advice of your authority, your office be? as we go into the elections. Yes, and we thank God. We uh, thank God. Even the politicians are telling them that you shouldn't allow yourself to be used. And mm. I'm very happy with that. If the MDC in the in their community, if you get that clear, the, mm. the, 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 the secretary made it clear, and the president emphasized on that. Yes. And then it's a call to the believers. It's not a duty to show violence and not badly for politicians. No. Mm. If they want to use you, they have to help you and you have to talk and become an MP and what have you. Why should you yes, involve right. yourself in that? The Quran says God hates aggressors. Mm. I mean, people are not going, uh, reading the Quran with, uh, they, they are not pondering. The Quran, God hates any people who want to maltreat people. So what should you go and... Uh, so Islam uh, abhors violence. We hate that. Okay. And uh, God is against aggressors repeatedly. Mm. God, the Quran is not compulsion religion. You see, I mm. mean, uh, the Quran makes... People are violent and they associate that to Islam. It tells you that they are ignorant. Yeah, it could be an motive and was not brought up where that, and you okay. think that violence okay. is part the, no you see it tends to make clear though the muslim army fought mm. against their enemies right they were not for example like ghana we have army a standing yeah. one does yeah. that mean yeah. the soldiers have to go around doing what they like no, no. Not so not the true. muslim army it is islam that brought that first that even in the course of war when uh, you are that time they were they mm. throw sword is another even if you are able to disarm the enemy and uh, on go. the ground and he says have surrender if you kill him you go to hell you have done and now thing. people are just somebody could which is which is absolutely wrong and i think there are those who agree with you that we should not associate islam with violence and especially the president we are told also in when he spoke yes, yes. house i said that we should not uh, we, we, those who are associating especially terrorism with Islam, it is a wrong thing to do because Islam actually stands for peace. Yeah, so, so thank you very much. So and, uh, Muslims should come out and do that. And I, okay, uh, okay. what I want, I wanted okay. to let you get something clear on, especially on the holiday. Mm. I want Muslims to understand it is we who give the day to the government so that you announce. announce. Nobody, no Muslim scholar should go around saying it's the government giving us a day oh, to no, no. do okay. that. All we right. Should, we so should, we <laughs> are grateful for your time. Uh, thank you very much, Sheikh Ofosuhine. Uh, and uh, he, he's Sheikh Ayub of Osuhene Asari. And uh, he is the um, national president of the Association of Muslim Preachers and also the Association and also Society, I beg your pardon, and also the national coordinator for coalition of Muslim organizations and uh, helping us understand the uh, relevance of Ramadan. And uh, once again, happy Eid to all of you.